my desk is occupied with many projects and I wanted to make a video about this. Uh, you can't see the whole thing, but it's, it's a big, big box, big bag, <laughs> big, big thing of, of, of stuff and, and such. So let's talk about it very briefly because it is mine uh, now, which is unfortunate. I was on uh, Craigslist earlier this day and I thought to myself, where can I find some good feet pics? No, I didn't do that. Uh, but I did go on Craigslist, that much is true. I will admit to that. I'm not proud of it, but you know, we all have low points in life. This just happened to be mine. So I was perusing around, because sometimes there's some weird stuff on there. And then this popped out at me. This. Okay, actually it wasn't this one, sorry. It was this one that I saw in the picture with other things that I will get to. But I saw this and I was like, oof, gotta get my hands on that because it is Kodak Varicolor, Varicolor, something like that. Um, expired in 1998, which was the year after I was born. So this film technically is older than I am, which is always fun. Oh, brother, it has been opened. There's only four rolls in there, but still, I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's fantastic. So I saw that and I was like, oof, gotta have it. And it was being sold with, it was being sold with the rest of the contents of this box, which we will now go through. So we have this. Uh, this is a extension tube for an M42 mount. We have this, which is a 35 to 70 close focus lens, M42 mount. This is a Tokina. So, you know, got that going for it. We have this, which is the, uh, this is the Asahi 135 3.5, I believe. Yes. Pretty good lens. I think it has a nice metal build to it. I dig it. Uh, it looks like it's pretty clean too, which is shocking. Normally, the ones I've seen are just in atrocious condition. Got a very nice lens hood here, which I'm kind of stoked for. This is for the, either the 135, the 200, or the 150. I think that's kind of cool that they have the readings there for like what lens you can put it on. Flash uh, with a very unique flash sync cable. It's like a, a little dagger attached there, like a bayonet. But you know, can, can never have too many flashes. This is a nice little compact deal. So kind of stoked for that. Uh, I got some lens cases. I got like three of these. This was the nicest one by far. It has this nice red velvet interior. Because I have so many and they just take up room, I'm not going to put them all up, but they are here. And then I got these two lenses, which is a Pentacon 5018, I believe. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. M42 mount as well. And this, the beauty. Uh, 55 millimeter Super Tacomar 1.8. I've not looked at the lens, but it looks like it's in pretty good quality. The overall build looks pretty nice. And it has the nice lens cap there. Wow, so you just got a bunch of lenses and film and lens carriers, that's neat. I got more film too, more 35 millimeter film. This stuff, not gonna lie, looks pretty scuffed. <laughs> so, I'm um, not holding my hope out on this film at all. But the Walgreens film, I think that's rebranded something else. I'll, to, I'll look into that and maybe make a separate video. But I also got this. Look at this beauty. I mean, it's not beauty yet. It definitely needs, it needs some help. It needs some love and assistance. Got some scuffing. Got some corrosion, weird buildup oddities. There's a little bit of a lag on the mirror. You can see that there. So the whole thing just kind of needs to be cleaned, but it does have this, which is the detachable cold shoe, which is fantastic. Spotmatic. Spotmatic, this is just the SP. So it has the all the different shutter speeds and a much more simple, easy to work on light meter, which is going to be good because I'm going to go off on a limb and say that it doesn't work. And then, 
Here's the real big ticket item. Well, also I got the uh, full case and carrier, which I think is a, just a steal. Boom. Another box, but this one is 220. It's basically just 120 doubled. So you can get 20 shots on a six by seven. Now they don't really make 220 film anymore. I think there's like a specialized camera maker that does, or specialized filmmaker that does, but they just kind of all got discontinued. So finding it is always kind of nice. I like having it because, you know, it's more bang for your buck. You do have to pay extra on the developing end, but you know, price I'm willing to pay. And also like just the coolest looking font here. I love the styling so much. And it came with this very handy little thing. <laughs> lighting diagram, lighting overhead I should say. So it came with a lighting overhead for how to shoot this to replicate the scene if you feel so inclined. Um, yeah, that was just in this pack, so. I don't think the guy who I bought this from knew about this or it was like in the back pocket. So that was a surprise to me and really made my day to be honest. There's some other stuff in here, lens filters, lens caps, um, came with a, this thing, which is a little bit uh, janky, nice like grip flash handle. I'd probably cut this off and redo it and also I don't know, this just does not really fill me with confidence. <laughs> that just broke. Literally just broke. Overall, a pretty good find, I would say, for Craigslist. All of this was, uh, he's, the dude was like, yeah, 25, but I only had 30 on me, so I was like, yeah, you can keep the change, because I'm going to get a lot more use out of this. Ooh, look at that. A cross screen filter. Let me see if I can toss this on. Um, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey, come on. That was it. Those were the finds for the day. 30 bucks for all of this, which is just a just a steal. So shout out to the gentleman that I bought it from. Um, thank you for uh, giving me by letting me buy your things super cool dude uh, very thankful for that and yeah i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna experiment with this one a little bit to see if i can modify the the light meter system at least a little bit because uh as it stands now it uses that wine cell 1.35 volt battery that sucks appreciate you watching like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel for more content i got a lot of stuff coming out soon Catch you on the next one.